How's it going everybody? So I just got a Hercules table saw and I was so excited to get it home and put together and start using it. Unfortunately, really quickly, I ran into some issues that made me realize I was gonna have to return it. So I just wanna kinda go over the saw real quickly and show you some of my issues and hopefully if anybody at Harbor Freight's watching, they can perhaps address these issues uh, on the quality control level at the factory because I think that's where the, the problems lie. So um, I just want to say that it's a really good looking saw. It's made out of quality components. It feels sturdy. It doesn't feel cheap at all. And like I said, I was really excited to start using it. Um, here, it, I'm just showing you that uh, the slide out for, uh, I think it has like up to 24 inch rip capacity, which was nice. That was a good feature. Um, the storage was well thought out. All the accessories fit in nicely. Um, nothing was going to fall out, you know, in the back of your truck, and uh, they were snug. But they were snug and they wanted to stay. Um, this is where I was really happy to have the saw. Like I started kind of going through everything, and I was like, "God, this is this is great." Um, unfortunately, the first issue. Uh, or this is just me showing you. I got, I got it on sale, twenty percent off, um, special coupon. But. Um, the first issue I had was, you know, when you get a saw, you got to dial it in and because they don't come 90 from the factory. So um, real quick, you can figure out 90. This is just, you know, cheapo way of doing it with a speed square. And then um, you get it where it needs to be for 90. And then you go in and you adjust the little cam wheels. Uh, these contractor saws all seem to kind of have the same setup. So um, here is the cam wheel and I set it to its maximum width and the blade still was not 90 degrees. So I could never set it to 90 uh, using the stop, which was kind of a deal breaker right off the bat because if I always have to use my square to figure out 90, um, that's really annoying. I, I want, if one of the stops is gonna work, I want the 90 to work, right? Um, versus the up on the top end is the 45. So when adjusting to the 45, I noticed that it wanted to bind up from basically five degrees up to 40 degrees. You can see here, I'm like hitting it because it's binding up. And I actually eventually oiled it with some three in one oil um, to try to remedy the issue. But still like uh, this is this is after it was oiled and that was something I'm sure I could have figured out maybe how to fix that, but really annoying. Um, also, look at the, the, what is that, the throat plate, the saw plate, or the blade plate. Sorry, I, I'm no expert. Watch as I adjust it up to 45, it bends it up. Um, this is me looking in there trying to figure out why this plate bends up when I adjust the angle up to 45. Um, Right there, you can see. Uh, I, I never really figured out what was causing that issue. Um, inside is really nice. It's got the cloth uh, dust collection. Um, anyways, here's me looking from the underneath. Now, here's the plate where it was binding up. And if you look, it, it's installed. Those, those attachments are bent. They're uh, maybe over torqued. I don't know. Something happened in the factory. That's probably what was warping the metal there and then making the... Uh, adjustment bind. Probably something I could have fixed, but uh, with the stop not being able to achieve 90 degrees, it wasn't worth my time to fix. Um, you can see the oil dripping down there. Um, I That didn't really help uh, after putting it on, but you can see where it's rubbing. Um, again, this kind of looks like a quality control issue in the factory. The parts were all great, but when it got put together, um, there was just a few failures along the way. The next issue I has, had was with the measurement lines. So um, as you can see, I couldn't adjust it to zero. I, I moved the red line over all the way and it wasn't even close. So no matter what, uh, the measurement was going to be off, which is really annoying. Um, another issue that I had was that the fence 
was off. Um, it was towing into the left. Um, so the back side there was closer to the blade than the front side. I'm sure that's something that can be adjusted. Um, like I said, I'm no expert. So um, kind of like, you know, squaring up the blade in the beginning, I'm sure straightening out your fence is something you got to do as well. Um, it's not as easy, I think, uh, as like uh, table saws that have the, the pins there on the front and back. Those can be easily just uh, loosened up and, and adjusted. This has four screws and like some plastic pieces I saw. Um, it wasn't really evident on how to adjust it very easily. But um, again, I'm sure it's something I could have figured out. Um, let's see. Oh, this is me just using another line there as kind of reference for straight. Um, so yeah, I, I think the Hercules lineup is great. I, I really am into it. And, uh, unfortunately something happened here with this saw. Um, I've got the Hercules miter saw, the siding miter saw, and it's great. It's, um, better than the DeWalt hands down. No questions asked. Um, and it comes with a one year warranty, whereas this table saw doesn't. And, I think I can kind of see why. Um, I think that it's got all the components to be a great saw, but maybe uh, some quality control issues going on. Um, anyways, if anybody at Harbor Freight's watching, here's some info. If it helps you, maybe track it back to the factory and uh, kind of take a look at what's going on. Uh, so hopefully that helps. Okay, so I've got it all packed up, unfortunately, and it's headed back to the store. I don't know if I'm going to swap it out for a new one or get my money back and go for a different brand. Maybe DeWalt, although I'm not a big DeWalt fan. Um, I used to be. Anyways, let me know what you think. Um, maybe there's something I missed. Maybe there's something that I could have easily done to fix all those things. I don't know. Uh, or maybe you got a recommendation on a table saw. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a good day.